describing functional relationships from graphs less than 16 notes, example number four. The graph shows the height of a log boat during a three minute ride on the coal cracker at Hershey Park. Describe the function represented by the graph. If you've ever been to Hershey Park, there is this ride where it's kind of like a water ride. It's great for younger kids. You don't get soaking wet, but you do get a little bit wet on it. And you get in this log boat at the bottom of the ride, you get in this log boat, it pulls you to the top, you go across the top, and then you go down this water chute. And then again, once you get to the bottom, you go across the bottom. And at the bottom, that's where you get on and off the ride. Now, this graph is not actually accurate. It definitely takes more time to get pulled up to the top of the ride than it does to go across the ride. So don't go by these times down here. Uh, it's not accurate, but it does give you an idea of what happens on the ride. So let's just take a look at this. From here to here, this is where the boat is being pulled across the top. Or sorry, that's where the boat is getting pulled to the top. Here is where the boat goes across the top. This part here is where it would go down the water chute. And then this would be at the bottom of the ride again where you get on and off. So this is definitely not a line. It's not linear, so it's going to be a nonlinear function. Uh, it's increasing, decreasing, and constant, a combination of all three. But they want us to actually describe the function. So the graph represents a nonlinear function. It is increasing when the log boat is being pulled up the ride. It's constant across the top of the ride. It is decreasing as the log boat descends down the water chute and is constant at the end of the ride. So go ahead, pause your video, get all of that written down. If you have any questions on example number four, let me know.